Hello, hello and welcome. This is Silent Hill again with another Media Portal video. Uh, today we're looking at the new re newly released uh, 1.3 beta. Uh, so yeah, today we've got a brand new skin. We call this Titan. Um, it's uh, really, really nice. Um, it's good on a big screen uh, sitting back on your couch. Going through all these different menus makes it much easier to see and everything's nice and clear and bright and colourful which is what we like to see. So, um, if you had a look at my previous video, we set up the TV and set up the client. Um, you notice that there was a lot of time outside of Media Portal. Well, with this release, we've got most of the settings for the client inside Media Portal now. Uh, so we can change uh, skins and settings inside Media Portal by going through the uh, GUI settings, uh, so yeah, so this is the Titan skin. We've got several, uh, two themes right now. There's a blue one and the main one. And we can have several different settings for the rows in the TV guide and the Moving Pictures plugin or the My Video plugin which appears on the front screen. So if we have a look here, videos. Um, or we can change it back as I do prefer myself, personally, to Moving Pictures, which is a plugin that you can get. It's separate from Media Portal. It runs independently of Media Portal, but Media Portal can make use of that database. Let's have a look at it right now, since we're talking about it. So let's check out uh, Moving Pictures. So what is it? It's basically a catalog. It shows all your video files that you've got sitting on your hard drive. And you can uh, see that there's like a blurb uh, describing the video, there's the DVD cover, there's a big background screenshot from the movie. Um, it tells you the various uh, like audio and video codec options inside the video. So you see it's two channel audio, so it's a DVD rip in MP3 audio with XVID video, and it's just a SD, uh, so that's yeah, DVD rip, and aspect ratio and a rating. And so we've got the IMDB rating at the top, uh, the year, all that funky stuff, that's all good. So when we want to have a look at one of these movies, jump in and it sort of gives us a bigger screen based on just this movie and hit enter and it starts playing. And here we go, so it's into the movie. One thing I really love about Media Portal is seeking. You can jump through the video to specific points and jump through and you can pinpoint basically you know, 30 seconds, a minute, 5 minutes, 10 minutes. Or that's uh, moving pictures. Um, we have a very similar plugin called TV Series, my T MP TV Series, which is basically the same thing but for TV Series. So we can jump through any of these and have a look. It's got very similar setup and it shows all the episodes in the list and gives us episode descriptions um, and ratings and screenshots and background pictures and all that good stuff. So that's TV shows. I showed you that last time, I believe. And pictures. So we jump into pictures. We can have a look at uh, the pictures that we've got on our system so yeah hit into that oh it was a nice day at the beach i remember this this was amazing and then we can jump out you can also do a slideshow um and that's our recursive slideshow so basically it will jump through and it will go to each thing by itself and you can just sit back and it just it's all automated so that's a nice kind of feature you can have that uh we can go into slideshow settings and there's uh, lots of different things in here you can do like you know repeat or shuffle all that kind of nice stuff you can just let your computer do all that for you and you can even like set this up from here so you can just hit slideshow from here and then it does your whole entire system or if you just have like a directory and every you know, uh, photo in there will just be all you know shuffled or in order um, in a slideshow so that's kind of neat 
and we've got the radio which is much like the TV uh, that we showed from last time um, I've got four digital radio channels on my TV capture card uh, that come through along with the TV um, and we've got music now the way I like to have this set up is in the what's it called album artist index view so it's an index by artist so say okay let's jump to Pennywise Pennywise is somewhere Pendulum Pennywise so we've got all the artist uh, albums on the screen here and you can just jump into any of them and you can jump through all that so that's really nice and easy to see um, this obviously also relies uh, on you having the correct uh, ID3 tags on your MP3s um, or having it set in like the right structure so you've got like in the file name you want uh, the, the track number and then the name of the um, this name of the track and then you know .mp3 or whatever and that all in the directory of the name of the album etc etc so uh, it, it really does heavily rely on that setup being you know correct and so yeah you can jump through anything like this and you can go through any of your tracks do 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 No idea why I have Ricky Martin in here. I ser seriously, that I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's go on TV. Uh, so yeah, Titan skin. It has got some improvements in there. So it looks like we've got uh, heat on DVD. I mean TV uh, on right now. So let's jump into it. Hey, let's watch Heat. That is an awesome movie. Really, really good movie. Al Pacino, Robert De Niro. Why wouldn't you be watching it? Why would you be sitting here recording a how-to video, features video of Media Portal? Ugh. Instead of watching this movie. Come on now. Okay, so you hit the B, which is to stop it. So it says, do you really want to stop it? No, I don't. But anyway, so uh, if we want to record it, you can click on it with the right mouse and say record. And it brings up this almost your recording video screen and then you click boom let's record it so now that that red light is on that means you're recording you can set pre-record time so if it's a schedule on the episode guide list you can say okay I want to record at least seven minutes beforehand so I make sure I don't miss any of the beginning and then post record I don't want to miss anything I'm gonna record a whole hour and it after the, f the show ends to so make sure I don't miss anything and there you go so there that is you can click it again and it says do you want to really not record this and you go okay and so that little light at the top of the screen goes away and says you're not recording so uh, yeah so that I get uh, on my TV capture card, I get up to seven days in advance of the uh, episode guide list, so I can just go all my way through. So it's really neat. Okay, so uh, what else do we have today? Um, actually, one thing I was going to show is one thing that we want to highlight with this release of Media Portal is that you can do a lot of the settings within Media Portal. You don't have to jump out all the time when you want to make uh, some settings adjustments that you could normally only do you have to close media portal get it, get into the config no most of those settings are now inside media portal which is great A really awesome step forward I'd like to thank everyone the Academy for that and so okay so the skin that was you could always do that uh, now there's some other things let's go to say music so in the music section uh, we want to make sure we have all of our songs which I've already got it done myself uh, but I will show you how to, guys how to do it so first things first we'll go to folders make sure we have the right folder 
uh, selected for our music. So in this case, it's path L drive slash media slash music, which is where my music is. Uh, you can also say add, and you say name, and you go blah, blah, blah. And then you say path, and then it will give you the browser. So you can go even on through a network or through your local hard drives. Um, it doesn't look on your uh, CD slash DVD slash Blu-ray uh, drive because you know you can constantly take things in and out so that there's not really any point for that. Um, so yeah, so let's jump through. So we'll see how we got to L Media Music. So we're going L. So we go do 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 to media and then music and you would think okay click music but no what we're gonna do is move the mouse around to select and it will understand that that's what we're selecting so boom and then exit out of that so if we have a look at that it's got the correct one there if however we wanted to edit it and you go to path and we go down back to L and then to media and then music now we're inside music and we go uh yeah select and then jump out it's actually gone to a different directory inside music inside something else right so that's not correct what we want to do is make sure we have it highlighted and then hit select just to make sure everyone's got that under control so now we have this highlighted, this of folders, um, we can say a remove, and then it removes it. So you see how that works? So you highlight and then you click select. So that's how that works. Um, all right. So we can jump out of that and jump out of that. We go back to database now. So we can see that this drive is the one that's being scanned. And you can click on that and says now it's not being scanned or you can, there we go and so you click scan selected folders and it will scan it for you and depending on how many new files that you have in there it will take a long time if there's a lot or not much time if there's few it constantly looks at that directory uh, for new music or every time and that's how you do it auto update database on change so if there's, you're constantly adding more albums to your uh, catalogue of music, then there you go. And so we can jump out of that. And again, videos, much the same. Now, I use the TV series plugin, which handles the whole database for me. I don't have to worry about this particular database. This is a separate one. This is just like an internal one that you can just use primarily for movies, not really for TV shows, um, but the same principle applies. So you go to folders, videos, and there you go. So you've got that selected and you can edit or you can remove, etc, etc. Uh, same thing for pictures. You've got folders and you can have that all nicely set up. So that you have thumbnails. If you don't do it for pictures, if you don't have this database and it doesn't really show up the thumbnails uh, so you know what you're looking at so that's uh, how we've implemented adding some internal settings into uh, media portal that used to be external settings okay so let's have a look at some plugins we've got the online videos plugin you can get that straight from the uh, extension installer which is sort of like an app store everything's free of course media portals free hundred percent free so you can get this one online videos we can jump in it does take, take some time uh, as do all the databases to scan new information into the system but once it's there it's instantaneous um, it's the whole point of having a database um, but now yeah see so this is one thing I love about Media Portal and online videos, probably by far my favorite plugin, the YouTube support. So what we do is we can go through to any of these um, 
entries and we can jump through and have a look at videos. So you can just jump in, you can click on any of them, watch any of them. Because it's YouTube, it's all free and Media Portal, an online videos plugin, makes this easy to use list which is awesome with a remote control. And so here we can see, hey, what's all this down here? Subscriptions, playlists, favorites, what is this? Well, I've added my own um, account from YouTube into this plugin. So what you do is you give it the account name, the login, and the password that you use for YouTube, and it will look up all your subscriptions. So let's go back in. I'll show you this again. Scroll up to the bot and subscriptions. We've got new videos and it has a look at all my videos. So we just click on any one of these. It gives us all the uh, resolution options. Uh, so let's just jump into any or one of them. Do, do, do. Boom. And one amazing thing I love about this is there's no annotations and there's no ads uh, in front of the videos. So we can... Thanks, Total. And so, yeah, you can just jump in straight away. There's no ads, nothing terrible. It's all just the video file, which is amazing. And so you can just jump through to any of these things. And as you noticed, when I clicked on that, particular video that I've got highlighted right now, it stays in the list, unlike the YouTube website, which removes it from the list. It says, you've already watched this. You're never, ever going to watch this again. So <laughs> this is so much better. It stays in the list. We can jump out of this. There's a lot more online videos apart from YouTube, but YouTube is probably the main one uh, that I prefer using. Um... And you can use it all with your remote control. So easy to use. And so that's it. So yeah, this is just a little brief overview of what's new in Media Portal 1.3 beta. Hope you like it. Have good, happy holidays and a safe new year.